Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of BachelorETteVegas.com. I'm standing here today, guys, in front of Jewel Nightclub. I'm inside the Aria Hotel, and uh, Jewel is one of the Tau Group venues. And uh, this place opened, I don't know, maybe seven years ago. And uh, it's a great club. I mean, I'll tell you, this club in any other city in the country would be the best club in town for sure. Put it in like a Chicago or a Denver or Dallas, and this place would be awesome. Now, in Vegas, unfortunately, you're competing with uh, XS, the new Liv, Omnia, Hakkasan, and, uh, you know, clubs like Marquee, etc. So, uh, this place Places, you know, it does good, but they don't really bring in the, the big talent anymore, especially on the weekends. Uh, you're going to find mostly like an open format party, which is going to be, uh, you know, DJs basically spinning hip hop, top 40, a little bit of EDM. And then they do do a Monday party here that's really good. It's called their Flawless Monday Parties, and it's actually really rocking. Okay, that's the only place to go on Monday nights, and all the industry people go there, the tourists that are in town go there, and uh, it's a good party. Okay, so their Monday nights, every once in a while, they'll bring a big DJ in or something, and uh, you know, like a little John or a Paul D, and kind of pack the house and get everyone a nice show but uh, for the most part you're gonna find this place is um kind of like a you know for lack of a better word like a b-list club okay it's not like your your big hitters like your david gettas or your tiestos are not going to be here but uh it's still a good club okay if you like hip-hop music and you want a nice alternative to say like a dre's or like an on the record this is a good spot all right they are going to be open friday saturdays and mondays uh generally that's about it uh, maybe you'll open on a holiday weekend an extra night but that's rare all right let's talk about how you get in this place okay you got a guest list and then you also have a um in tickets, you can buy those on my link below. And then of course I deal the with the bottle service. That's mainly what I deal with. So let's talk about your different office for the bottle service. Um, inside, you're gonna find the uh, the stage table, which is to the right and left of the DJ. There's four stages up there. Those are probably your best tables. Okay, a lot of people like to be up top, right next to the DJ stage is pretty cool. Now there are some tables um, around the dance floor. Those are gonna be called your dance floor tables. And the one in the center is gonna be your owner's table. Now they used to have uh, three tables basically dead center. They got rid of one of them. So now they made like a giant owner's table. I've had it a couple times it's really good. Uh, that's right in the center, looking at the DJ. Um, that's going to be your best table, arguably in the club, unless you want to be up on the stage. Now behind that, there's going to be your second row tables, and uh, those are good, pretty big as well, good for 10 to 12 people. Um, those are going to be basically around the big U, um, right behind the dance floor tables. Okay, and then behind that, you're going to find your third row tables, and the third row tables are pretty solid. Now the ones, if you're looking at the DJ on the right, there's not a lot of traffic up there. That's going to be better for groups of like that are more like self-contained. And then um, the ones that are in the middle have traffic behind there by the bar, so those are the more popular third rows sometimes you got a tip to get one of those so if you want if you, your budget's a third row table and you want to be in the action you're going to want to be in the ones in the center by the bar and then there's going to be some on the left that are pretty good as well um, kind of in the action but there are fourth row tables on the left if you're looking at the dj on the left uh, behind those third row tables so you're kind of sandwiched in between the dance floor the second row and then the fourth row tables are the third row tables all right and then there's a couple uh, fourth row tables in the back corner and then there's a couple in the back corner up by the dj as well um, those are all right and you know generally on uh, not that busy at nights they're only going to seat the main floor and if your budget say like 750 or 1k you'll get one of those fourth row tables and they're not bad now on busier nights they're going to seat the upstairs the upstairs is going to have uh, some large balcony tables that are along the glass um, kind of uh, you know overlooking the dj and then there's also going to be some small balcony tables behind there okay there's some small balcony tables on the one side if you're looking at the dj on the left um, kind of like your second tier balcony if you will those are generally pretty low minimums and reasonably priced along with the um you know the large balcony tables those are pretty reasonably priced as well now there are some bad <laughs> badass skyboxes uh, for lack of a better word in this place probably the coolest skyboxes in all the city for sure um, you got the um, different themes there's one called the prestige there's called the goat um, th there's different names for them i don't know all the names right off the top of my head but they're all themed out and they're huge um, they're to the right and the left upstairs and uh, if you got a big group like a corporate party you want to do like 25 30 people up there those skyboxes are great for that so um, some of the best skyboxes in the city so make sure you hit me up if you're interested in one of those so that's it those are your options at jewel nightclub it's a you know it's a big kind of rectangle club two stories they don't always have the upstairs open it's, it's a great light show they got a nice led system in there one time i was in here and the led system was broken but they still did the party it was just like one laser light going on for the whole night it was kind of funny but we still had a good time it was, it was a pretty funny night but um Anyway, if you want to book a package with this place, we do have some bottle packages these days, and we do all the night, you know, all the uh, men's shows, strip clubs, uh, limos, dinners, etc. Whatever you guys want, we can make it happen. I'm gonna put my cell phone above 773-459-8133. That's my cell. Make sure you hit me up with any questions, or if you're interested in booking a table here at Jewel. Uh, and if you like my content, I would appreciate a like on the video. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more, and uh, bang the notifications bell. I'm Brian Pfeiffer signing out here from the Aria for a Jewel nightclub. I'm looking forward to working with you out here in Las Vegas. Let's talk soon. Bye.